everyone, let's do some more practice with number properties and talk, talk about dividing numbers written in scientific notation. Okay, so it gets a little bit more fun because we have to do something before we write in scientific notation. Uh, so we have, th there are lots of ways of doing this, right? But the, when, when you have multiplications on the top and multiplications on the bottom, you can feel safe crossing things out. Uh, so you have three and the three cancel out. And then the way you divide 10 to the third by 10 to the first is you subtract exponents, as you know. So you should get, the answer is 10 to the second. But that's not scientific notation, right? So well, what do we do? We just multiply it by one. We write one times 10 to the second. Okay, why do you do this? It's really not a big deal. It's just for consistency. You don't have to. Um, if you're sending in some report and all your other numbers look like 3.2 times 10 to the second and 5 times 5.9 times 10 to the second, you might confuse someone if you just write 10 to the second. So it's not a big deal. There's not some deep mathematical idea here. It's just for consistency of notation. So 1 times 10 to the second. Okay. Again, we're going to cross out these sevens. We're going to get 3 minus 1 is 2, so we're going to get 10 to the second. And again, our answer is going to be 1 times 10 to the second. Okay, how about this? Sevens cancel out. 5 minus 4 is 1. So we get 10 to the first. There's no number in front of it, so we make it a 1. Why not? So we get 1 times 10 to the first. Okay. These threes cancel out. 5 minus 4 is 1. So we get 10 to the 1. We get 1 times 10 to the 1. How about this? Oh, it's going to be slightly different. Now the two and the one don't cancel out, so we just get a two there. And the four minus three gives us a one. So we get two times 10 to the one. Because when we divide this, we get 10 to the one. When we divide this, we get two. So we get two times 10 to the one. You're first. Okay, eight divided by four is two. 10 to the second divided by 10 to the first is two minus one is one, so is 10 to the first. So it should be two times 10 to the first. Okay, how about this? Well, four divided by two is two. 10 to the third divided by 10 to the first is three minus two, I'm oh, sorry, three minus one is two, so 10 squared. So we should get two times 10 squared. All right, how about this? Well, three divided by one is three. Three minus two is one. So we have three times 10 to the first or three minus two. So three times 10 to the first. All right, how about this guy? Or gal, this is a gender neutral division. We have four divided by two. We have, which is two. We have 10 squared divided by 10 to the first, which is two minus one is one. So that's two times 10 to the first. Okay, great. All right, how about this? Six divided by three is two. 10 to the second divided by 10 to the first is 10 to the two minus one. So that's two times 10 to the two minus one or two times 10 to the one. So two times 10 to the one. Do a couple level twos, call it a day. All right, here we go. These just cancel out or if you want, you can say four divided by four is one times 10 to the 5 minus 2 is 3. So 1 times 10 to the 3. How about this? Oh, you see it. That's 1. That's 10 to the 3. So we have 1 times 10 to the 3. And let's do one more just for fun. 
That's again one. That's 10 to the four minus one, which is 10 to the three. So we have one times 10 to the three. Okay, scientific notation is really just about bookkeeping. So once you get the language down, you should be good to go. All right, everyone, I will see you guys tomorrow.